Hello and welcome to your daily collective reading. So what we're going to be asking is what you need to know today. Hope you're having a great day so far and that you've got some nice plans for the weekend ahead. What have you got planned over the Christmas season? All right, let's have a look what you need to know today. Queen of Pentacles. This could be an Earth sign female, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Alternatively, this is someone striving for financial independence. Okay, Queen of Pentacles is usually a, a working parent. Somebody who is striving to better their finances. Okay, a wonderful business advisor, a very loyal partner if she is partnered. This is someone who's fantastic in the workplace. She's wonderful at um, I guess money financial situation she's just fantastic next up we have ten of pentacles which is really really nice um, so queen of pentacles could be coming into a large sum of money so the ten of pentacles is really about you know financial freedom you know for the long term so she could be striving for this okay aiming for it or she could end up getting a sudden lot of money coming towards her wow that's crazy king of pentacles is <laughs> i can't believe it a king of pentacles is a earth sign male taurus Virgo, capricorn and king of pentacles is usually the queen's partner so this could be talking about an earth sign couple okay um, alternatively it could be if you are the feminine striving for financial freedom working really hard or a single working parent striving for ten of pentacles a king of pentacles is either you if you are the masculine um, you know could be that you're an earth sign because this is a collective all signs reading however i believe there is messages for everyone in my collective readings so king of pentacles is achieving that financial freedom king of pentacles is the business owner the financial advisor the loans officer this is the person to go to for all business and financial matters okay so very interesting all right another pentacle so the queen of pentacles is slowly progressing towards the ten of pentacles which is the financially free energy okay she's working towards this slowly she may have been doing so for a number of years okay what's happening with the 10 all right things are about to take a turn however because the wheel of fortune is upright it's telling me taking a turn for the better okay this is the four fixed signs aquarius scorpio leo and taurus it could be saying that you are one of those signs or this could be someone around you doesn't have to be the wheel of fortune is basically a symbol of change winds of change pisces energy in the hangman the the hangman is that you know this king of pentacles could be a pisces alternatively king of pentacles could have been doing a lot of self-sacrifice in order to achieve this financial status okay a lot of self-sacrifice a lot of you know um, turmoil a lot of stop starts roller coaster rides ups and downs financially because the king of pentacles is all about finances and resources and the earthly realm and the hangman is all about self-sacrifice like i said also things coming to a halt things are coming at a standstill all right, let's keep going. Tower. Tower is unforeseen changes. It's a sudden change. Whatever comes next is what the change is going to lead to. And then we'll have the resolution here. So let's have a look what this change is. 
So seven of wands, seven of wands is where we're not backing down, we're feeling persecuted by the outside, okay? It's like everybody is at you. It could very well be, we need this, we need that, we need the other thing, you know, we need more money, you need to pay more taxes, or we need you to do this, and it's all about, um, I guess, a fragmentation of wills, you know, I, I want to do something, but I've got everybody at me, this guy is standing on a mountain and everybody else is below him so he is at the better stance he can win this he he's um he's he's got the upper hand so whatever this tower is it's really saying that you have the upper hand you can get through this so no matter what the situation is you can get through this so in the next one, we have a decision that needs to be made. So the Two of Swords is all about using our intuition, okay, and not being biased. All right, so the, the sickle moon there is an indicator of intuition, okay, using our psychic senses, following our higher guidance, okay, crossing the heart, okay, no bias and using our you know i guess our knowledge our logic as well in regards to doing the right thing what we what we feel is the right thing to do in regards to whatever the situation may be coming at a standstill but using a lot of self-sacrifice in regards to doing this as well no matter what you have the upper hand okay so now let's go ahead and get some more tarot and go deeper into this shall we so let's go ahead and see what the wheel of fortune is what is the change in regards to this what is the change this one really wanted to come out empress could be a mother okay empress taurus libra energy so the empress is all about self-care <clears throat> taking care of oneself okay self-sacrifice taking care of oneself so it could very well be saying that yes we've been striving for financial freedom we've been striving to be the best that we can be we've been striving to build our business or our career okay or to find work if that be the case empress is time to turn things around time to take care of yourself which is a very interesting twist now what is the hangman could be a pisces around you could be you are a pisces wow they really wanted to come out i'll see there we go all right so we got two we got fast news that's a wish come true which is really lovely it's really about someone coming in and telling you you've achieved your goals you've achieved your you've you've done it okay so the nine of cups is all about you've done it you've achieved it you can do it okay you've um it's like um uh cheers to you you've done really well okay you've done everything you could and now your wish has come true and this is coming up quickly the knight of swords is in a matter of days okay whenever the knight of swords comes out especially even in um personal readings my clients often write back within four days and they're saying you know what like whatever this knight of swords message was um it's it's happened so knight of swords fast news okay so what is the tower what is the tower a king of wands a king of wands is generally a fire sign male could be aries leo or a sagittarius now king of wands is generally someone who is boss mentality okay so if this is a work place a situation uh, king of wands may be the boss now alternatively king of wands may be like i said a fire sign male around you quite dominant okay um loves your attention <clears throat> now if you are a fire sign male this could be you 
okay very dominant very assertive very powerful could be that you are the boss in in the workplace okay now for some reason the tower is associated with the king of wands i'm going to get one more card out just to see what other messages there are soul business owner and okay discovering they may be doing like a business course or studying something to do with independent business structure or something along those lines king of wands you know independent business and it, it could even be you know for some of you the king of wands may be dating a um, sole trader or somebody who works independently maybe a single working parent or something along those lines um, and they're getting to know each other okay it's a tower it's like something suddenly connected them for some of you so there's a few different meanings so i'm going to get one more card there she is it's the queen of pentacles okay getting to know the queen of pentacles so king of wands queen of pentacles very assertive, uh, fiery, you know, generally attractive, male, quite dominant, goes after what he wants, okay, possibly in management, doesn't have to be Queen of Pentacles, you know, a single parent or somebody who's um, striving for business success. Now, what is a decision? Um, what is a decision here? All right. It is the Emperor Aries energy. It could be this King of Wands is Aries. Doesn't have to be Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, a female. She's generally someone quite emotional, likes to connect on an emotional wavelength. Okay. Queen of Cups is someone who has a lot of love to give, a lot of um, love to share. She's a natural mother, okay? Not saying that all the other queens are not natural mothers. Of course they are. But she she is someone who would seek out work that would be to do with children, much like in daycare. She could be a nanny, you know, because she loves being around children, the next generation, and watching them grow okay that is kind of something that is in her heart and soul to do now um she may be um a boss okay or in management because she is right near the emperor alternatively queen of cups could be connected to an aries and they may be having some social times going out enjoying themselves being social okay having a decision to make in regards to a queen of wands all right queen of wands aries leo sagittarius female usually the counterpart counterpart to the king right here so you know there is some kind of heavy decision um because it's clarifying the two of swords and the two of wands showed up for this so you know it, it looks like there is some kind of social interactions here because we got the knight of wands indicating a lot of travel and a lot of um you know kind of fun atmosphere however there is some kind of heavy decision happening here right now and i feel a very strong workplace vibe going on here so what i'm going to do is get the gypsy oracle just to give you some more insight and um we got the sorrow card, some sadness, grief, remorse, um, and despair. Ooh, challenging and melancholy. Well, all the challenging cards are coming out. So this could be something that happened in the past. It could even be that tower, another challenging card, and some regret. However, there is a friend that's around you. Okay. Now, alternatively, this could be a friend that's going through this. And you could be like, hey, do you need a hand? Wife, a friend that's attached, okay? A friend that's like in a relationship because she's got the wife to the Lord, okay? So she's possibly in a commitment with someone who is in management, okay? Um, thinking about lover, okay, uh, and young woman, so we could have a couple um, trying to match make another couple 
very interesting and then uh, that didn't work out so now we're looking into maybe even um, going out having a few drinks to get over it it's like you know what come out with us we're going to give you a great night out so that you can move past this um, relationship that didn't work out so it looks like there's a supportive network of people around somebody who is single and going out mingling okay it could very well be this situation here um yep yeah, going out enjoying yourselves having a great time you possibly work together um but there is someone that's hanging out to come back okay because they're quite vulnerable before the next holiday season so possibly excuse me uh, possibly a birthday or even you know we've got christmas coming up or new year this would be that time because this is about a time of giving gifts okay so yeah someone's hanging out you know to catch up with someone where it didn't work out you know and it looks like there is a supportive network of um, friends that are in the background there wanting to help out wanting to give you some advice and guidance and and you know take you out and have some fun so that you can forget about whatever happened in the past with someone that hurt you or that broke your heart it looks like that person wants to return before the next event like a birthday or christmas or something and um, they want to maybe even patch things up okay all right so that's some general readings for you and if you'd like a personal reading you can always reach out to me and i can fine tune the cards into your energy and your situation all i need is one question for that to happen um and if this gave you some guidance and light, there's a few different readings here for a few different, um, you know, or, uh, people that watch this. So let me know which messages were your messages. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.